Imagine if your windows didn't just give you a view of the outside world, but also functioned as solar panels, generating electricity for your appliances and home electronics. A recent paper in ACS Nano described technology that could do just that, and it's made headlines in Time Magazine, Slate, NPR, and more. This is Breakthrough Science, ACS Journals in the News. My name is Professor Yang Yang from the University of California, Los Angeles. Uh, I'm a professor at the Department of Material Science and Engineering. I'm also serving as a director of the Renewable Energy uh, of the California Nano System Institute. I'm Paul Weiss. I'm director of the California Nano Systems Institute. I'm editor-in-chief of ACS Nano, and I'm also one of the UCLA researchers who helped Professor Yang Yang and his group develop the transparent solar cells. The research we're working on is actually a plastic-like material serving as a solar cell materials, which invisible in the vis invisible range, uh, but pick up the photons in the infrared range. Our solar cells are very different from the traditional solar cells, which are opaque and dark color. Our solar cells mainly use the material to pick up the infrared light rather than the visible light, so it's rather transparent in the visible range. Therefore, it can be used in different applications than the traditional solar cells. The material is actually a plastic-like material, so potentially it can be produced in large quantity and low cost. The advantages of these materials are they're easy to manufacture and thus uh, economical. Uh, one of the guiding principles in developing both the windows and the materials in Professor Yang's group was to use common and earth abundant materials so that they could, these could ultimately be made in quantity. We hope in a few years that these materials will be everywhere on windows around the world, collecting energy while we're able to use those uh, windows for their normal purpose, being able to see through them. We also hope uh, that the solar cells work on devices where we can look at the displays with the visible light, but at the same time, the solar cells are collecting the infrared radiation that we don't see. I was doubly pleased with this work both to participate in the science, but also for all the attention that it's gotten, uh, both for UCLA and for ACS Nano. Uh, it's been picked up by a number of radio shows on NPR, uh, magazines, newspapers, ABC News, uh, and it's really caught attention of people around the world uh, for the possibilities uh, that, that might come into play over the next few years. Mm -hmm.